Hello friends, welcome to Tick Mentor and uh, today I am going to tell you how you can write programs in CES. So this is CES 9.2 which I am using for writing the programs. So now I'll, I'll tell you how you can create your own data set. So to create a data set you have to write data and then uh, couple of things you have to think about like if you are going to create a data set so what will be your data set name what with what data you want to keep inside the data set you have to think about the variable names so here i'm taking an example that i want to create a data for a data set which will have the information of employees so it will have the employee id employee name and then their age so this is a basic example which I'm taking. So my data set name will be employee. So now I'm going to write the data set program to create the data set. So first of all, you have to write the data and then you will write the name of the data set. The name of the data set I'm taking employee. Then you will write the semicolon. After semicolon, you will write. So the reason of writing the semicolon is basically to tell says that my first step has completed. While you write the data, that means SES will understand you are going to create a data set. Then SES will expect that write the name of the data set, what name you want to give to the data set. So you will write employee. Now you will tell SES that what are the variables which will exist in this data set. So you have to write the keyword input which will tell says that these variables will, will exist inside the employee data set. So we will take EMP underscore ID, which will be your numeric. Then we will take employee name, so EMP underscore name. Now an important thing, says has two types of variables. It can be either character or it can be numeric. So employee ID, I'm taking as numeric, Employee name I'm taking as character. So if your variable is character, you have to tell this because how says will understand that what is the difference between numeric and character. So what you do, you write a dollar. Once you write the dollar, says will automatically understand that employee underscore name is your character variable. Then the third variable I want to create is salary. All right. So important thing, another important thing here is like if your variable is numeric, you do not need to write anything. By default, it will says will understand that this is numeric. But in case of character, you have to explain that this is a character, so you have to write the dollar at the end of the variable name. Now you have defined the data set name, you have defined the variable names, the variable type. Now what you need to do, you have to tell says about your data. So what you will write, data lines. After writing the data lines, you will write a semicolon. Says will understand that now from the very next line, we will start writing the data. So what will be the first line of data? Employee ID suppose one, employee name, we can take John. The salary of John may be one, uh, 10,000. Then we will take another Sarah. The salary of Sarah suppose 20,000. Then we will take quick Mike. Salary of Mike, 12,000. Four. Maya, salary of Maya is 15,000. Then after writing the data lines, you will write semicolon. So we cannot write the semicolon here. The reason why, once you wrote the semicolon here, you can see that the color has been changed. Earlier it was yellow, now it has blue and normal black so we need to write the semicolon here the reason behind this is basically data once we write the data lines that means we are telling says that after this step i'm going to write my data so these lines will be treated as data lines once the data line step is completed from the very next line you have to write this semicolon to tell says that till that point we are taking the data and after that line there will be further steps so here i'll write run Run is basically to tell says that whatever we have written before the run, just execute that, right? So this is to tell says that this step has been completed here, now execute it. Now, 
to execute this program what we can do we can select the program control a or you can select manually then you can click on this running person or you, this is a submit icon actually or you can the shortcut can be f3 you can use the keyword f3 now the program has been executed now we will go into the log and we'll check that what happened here so the data you, you see that these lines highlighted in black are basically your code the data set work dot employee has four observations because because we inserted four rows in data lines and then three variables we created few variables now we want to check that if this data set has been created or not so we will go inside the work work is a default library so in work you will see that employee employee existed so you can see your data set has been created now another important thing suppose you do not want to go inside the work and you want do not want to click on this you want a code which will do this thing so what you can do you can use the procedures in sas we have multiple procedures which sas has created so you can take advantage of those procedures those procedures will do the analysis on your data and it will represent the output in output so what i'll do here i'll use the proc print basically the procedure to print the data so proc print once you write the proc sas will understand that you are going to use the procedure now you have to tell what procedure you want to use so you will write print i want to use the print procedure then you have to write the data name write data equals to i want to print the employee data then you will click on uh, you will write the semicolon then you will write run so what it will do let's execute these two lines and you will see output on the output window you can see the output of your data set so this is how you can create a data set you can print the uh, output of the data set on output window so in in the next session we will discuss uh, the further details of uh, creating the data sets and what other uh, parameters we can take in, into consideration while we are creating uh, the data set so guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and get more updates on the sas data set thank you have a nice day